Okay, just to be very clear, a simple life is not easy. If you want it easy, just stay in an apartment, have a nine to five job. That is, that is easy. Simple is a totally different thing. I have never worked this hard in my entire life since, my, since I moved here. So if you want a simple life like this, just realize it's a lot of work. As you can see, winter has arrived and today is a very, very special day. If you're new to the channel, you have no idea what I'm talking about. But if you've been around for a while, you know that a couple of months ago we ordered new doors for the cabin. And now they're finally done and I'm picking them up today. And I'm very, very excited about it. Later in the video, I'm also going to tell you why we specifically chose these doors. And that's a very important subject, I think. So, But that's going to be... Yeah, later in the video, so stick around for that. But before I jump into the car and go get the doors, we need to have a serious talk. I checked my analytics of this YouTube page and I saw that 76% of you guys that are watching my videos are not subscribed. There's a red button right down there. Click it and that will subscribe to the channel. By motivating you a bit more to subscribe, uh, I've decided to do a live stream every 10,000 new subscribers so to speak so when i reach 70,000 subscribers i will do a live stream when i reach 80,000 i will do a live stream 90 and then 100 okay well let's get the doors After one and a half hours of driving, I arrived to the town of Näsåker and was greeted by Åsa and her team that has built our doors. And what I absolutely love about what they do here is that they create new things, that they reuse old materials and old techniques. I could have stood here for hours talking to Osa about old techniques and old materials, but I needed to start driving back before it got dark. Mm -hmm. 
Are you ready to see our new doors? Yeah. <laughs> I can't lift it. You're up. <laughs> oh, it's heavy. Up, up, up. Oh, wow. Wow. Lift it. That is. Oh, okay, I can just lift it. Yeah. That is so pretty. They made wow. such a good job. It's so beautiful. And you know that those planks are actually a hundred years old. Really? Yeah. Where is it from? Uh, an old barn. To rescue the planks from an old barn. Wow. It's amazing. I can't wait to see it. Yeah, and that glass is also handmade as well. So. I'm so happy. <laughs> oh my god, it's beautiful. It's going to look so good. It's art. Like. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> Let's do it! I would love to put up the door right away and install it, but the reality is I've never <laughs> installed a door in my entire life, so I have no idea what I'm doing. So I actually asked a neighbor and a friend of ours, Stefan, uh, he lives like 15 minutes away from here, and he's coming tomorrow. So we'll install the door tomorrow, and that's gonna be later in this video as well. But now I have to actually take a shower, uh, and maybe that's not a big deal to you guys at home, uh, but out here, <laughs> it's kind of a big deal. We're getting guests. Uh, it's our good friends Nicole and Niklas that is coming over. Niklas is actually the one who's going to help me uh, renovate the roof as well. But I have to take a shower before they get here. And yeah, taking a shower in an, like a normal house or in an apartment is not that big of a deal. But out here, where we have no running water, no shower, no anything, I have to be out here taking a shower. Um, so yeah, I'll show you that experience. To take a shower out here, you need a bucket and then you need an axe. So we're gonna collect some uh, water. After a few minutes of fighting, the bucket is now full with icy water. Uh, so I'm going inside, heating it up, and then it's time to take a shower. I just discovered that my, I don't know if you can see it, it's my bucket is leaking a bit. So I have to be very quick about this shower. But yeah, it's a bit refreshing to say the least to stand out here. Uh, good thing when you don't have any neighbors that's watching. It would have been even more uncomfortable, I would say. And do you guys know what's even more complicated than standing out here taking a shower? That's actually standing out here taking a shower and filming it at the same time. <laughs> that's like, that's make the process take so much longer than you, can, than you can ever imagine. Before we were like heathens living in the stone age, just took the bucket like this and poured it over my head. We are now in the like present day and the future. So we have brought in some technique to our life to make it, make it a bit easier. So we have bought this <laughs> very cool, cool little shower nozzle and a pump to it as well. 
it works surprisingly well actually. Uh, it makes it way easier and the shower, shower lasts longer as well. Okay, enough talking. I mean, while the water is pouring like this, it's not that cold. Um, it's a bit cold to stand in the snow, if I have to be honest. But otherwise, it's, it's okay. I just have to think about that this is gonna be viewed by 100,000 people. Um, just me taking a shower out in the wild. Uh, just a normal day at the office, right? Niklas and Nicole will be here in like 10 minutes. So I think I have to hurry up a bit. And then we're gonna have a really cozy evening together. That's the plan. And they also brought two of their dogs, Kit and their puppy, Dunde. Me and Nicole actually met through Facebook some years ago when we both were trying to figure out who we were and who we wanted to be. So I'm very, very happy to have her in my life. And even though they live one and a half hours away from us, it almost feels like neighbors because she used to live over three hours away. So they're way closer now. We ate and drank some really traditional Swedish things called glugg and lussebulle. And this is a very typical Swedish thing. No one ever wants to take the last piece. And after a full day of just hanging out and talking, it was time for them to drive home again. But on their way back, Nicole texted me and sent me a picture. It was a picture of very strong northern lights. So I told Christina to pack a bag and we headed out to the forest and up the mountain. And hopefully we could get a better view from there. I just found these tracks. 
not sure what the tracks are, but I'm guessing either wolf, bear, or lynx. But the tracks were way bigger than Christina's hand. In the beginning we didn't see any northern lights at all, I was actually kind of disappointed. But then all of a sudden, the sky just started dancing. The next morning we woke up to this very beautiful and soft morning light. And it was time to get started on our new doors. Stefan will be here in a few minutes to help me with the door. Uh, but I will start on my own with this crowbar and take the old door apart. That's the step number one. <laughs> one. <laughs> For everyone wondering if we're throwing away the old doors, no, we're keeping them to another project maybe next year, so don't worry, <laughs> we'll keep them. And after a while, Stefan showed up. He has worked as a carpenter his entire life. And I feel so thankful to have him as a neighbor. I honestly think that I wouldn't have made it out here without my neighbors. They've helped me and supported me so much. Here you can see what they use for all the insulation. Moss. <laughs> so that's from the previous owners. Is that real moss? Yeah, that's real moss. You can use it to insulate the house. They use that all the time, actually. Still wow. do. It's Can really effective. It? <laughs> that's so fun. Yeah. Me and Stefan were talking about this, that like, it's one thing that the door is straight or looks straight, because the whole house is a bit crooked, so you have to decide if the door should look straight or actually be straight. Does that make sense to you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Just smiling behind the camera, yeah. I'm not sure. <laughs> Yep. 
Hvor ligger du på nede? Ja, det har du her. Ja, bra, og sen skal vi ned. Åh, <laughs> oh, wow. Ja. We have new dolls, honey. Yeah, we do. It and feels so good. Like <laughs> just the sound of actually being able to close a door. <laughs> yeah, we could close a door. Oh, you guys should know what kind of trouble, I don't know how to say that, work we have to go through to close our door every time. <laughs> I've had this cabin for three years now, yeah. and this is the actual first time I've been able to like close it and lock it. <laughs> so it feels amazing. Yeah, Good I feel. can't wait to have a cozy, warm entrance that's no. going to be wonderful. Because our entrance right now, inside of here, is actually the same temperature as outside. Yeah. So. Yeah, that's it's be always really a struggle when you have to go for the bedroom to do the living room because yeah. then you have to go through all that yeah, interest. True. Yeah, it's like, like it's warm, warm downstairs, it's warm and cozy, and then you have to take like collect yourself and then, <laughs> and then run upstairs <laughs> to the bedroom where it's warm again. So. Yeah. Okay, so the next step is actually insulating yeah. the doors or insulating the doors. Uh, we use this material right here, it's called lean. I don't know what it's called in English actually. Maybe someone in the comments can help me out. It's a natural material, so you know. <laughs> you can just use it and read it and it's no dangerous at all because a lot of construction materials these days are filled with plastic and other stuff and we don't want that a big part of insulation is actually getting it you know quite fluffy you can't just push it in there because then it's gonna be too tight because a big part of insulation is actually getting the air into this material that's what's insulated so you can't push it in too hard mm -hmm. you have to be quite gentle and fill it up like this We're doing this from the outside and the inside as well. Can you open the door so we can see the inside as well? Yeah. Because it's actually a bit different. It's very different. <laughs> Ta -da! Ta -da! <laughs> we choose this kind of inside because um, you're a bit afraid of the... Because it's so small entrance. Yeah, exactly. It would be too heavy if we did, did it with this material on the inside as well, I think. Yeah. And the guys that built the door, Osa, he she actually recommended it like, yeah, do something different on the inside that's our recommendation and we listened to her of course and she was <laughs> obviously right yeah this looks way better so it really does and it really does also with all these you know old looking planks yeah and have something totally new that fit together is really cool yeah I like. this material is it because it's so bright yeah it like brightens up the hallway as well yeah makes it a bit more cozier i think In the beginning of this video, I said that we specifically chose these doors for a very specific reason. And the reason is quite basic, actually. We decided that we wanted doors from something that was handmade, from a small manufacturer, made by people. Not like these big, big, big companies. Yeah, we would get a cheaper door, probably, uh, if we found it somewhere, like buy it from a big company. But that's not my vision of how I want to, like, live my life. I want to support the small and local businesses. And that they're local, but they <laughs> still live one and a half hours away from here. But I want to support them. And I still we think we got a really good price on the door. Like, if you think about how many hours they must have put into this door. Like, it's so beautiful. And of course I want to pay, even, even if I pay a bigger sum of money for this door than I would like buying it from a big company somewhere. I'd rather pay that kind of money to get something handmade that fits the cabin, that fits my lifestyle and my vision and support a local company as well. Because I feel like the big companies are just getting bigger and bigger all the time. And if we want the small ones to stay relevant, we need to support them. We can't just like the idea of them. We actually need to buy the products as well. 
and talk about them and like include them in our lives somehow. So think about that. Just don't go after the price all the time. Just buy with your heart as well. Apparently everything is happening at the same time right now. I just got a call from the shipping company that is delivering our insulation for the roof. And they're coming with this very, very big truck and we live in the middle of the forest. So we, they can't fit the trailer all the way up to the cabin. So they're gonna dump everything like 400 meters away from here at the cabin. And we have to transport all of it from down there up to the cabin. It's gonna take like the whole day. Uh, and it's getting dark in like, yeah, an hour or something. So I really had to get going. <laughs> Do I look like I belong here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is supposed to be in. Can we tell this is from one of our neighbors? Yeah, and <laughs> I just asked him if he could come over to our place. Like, can you come with your tractor and help us like load the insulation? And he was like, no, I'm going away, actually. I was like, oh, bummer. But you can borrow the tractor and drive it yourself. It's like, <laughs> eh, okay. <laughs> I've never been in a tractor ever in my entire life. Uh, and he gave me a five second crash course. Like, yeah, this is the gas. This is the brake. This is the clutch. Just go. <laughs> and that's basically all, all I know. So please don't laugh at me if inside I'm not doing it. Can we see it inside? Yeah, sure. Okay. So this is first gear, second gear, reverse, I think, and then mm. third gear as well. I have no idea. But no. I, I think that's correct. <laughs> it's cool. That's so classic, isn't it? Yeah. I'm gonna delete that. <laughs> It should be like that. <laughs> sorry. Well, I'm sorry, honey. I'm just <laughs> laughing at you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Uh -huh. Woohoo! I hope you don't have any plans for tonight. Uh, I don't have that now, I would say. <laughs> this is what we call a mountain of insulation. Yeah. Like each pallet weighed over 200 kilos and there are eight of them. It's gonna be a yeah, full night. I think it will take like six hours or something. What do you think? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Only 200 left. <laughs> I honestly don't know what we would have done without the tractor. It just saved us so much time. 
So once again, our neighbor saved us. guest house is really starting to fill up and like we still have I don't know 15 of those left and I have no idea where we're gonna put them and then this happened <sighs> come on come on come on come on Oh, I can't handle more of this. <sighs> the tractor broke down and blocked our road. So the only thing I could do was to take our wheelbarrow and started transporting one or two at a time. 400 meters up. 400 meters down, 400 meters up, 400 meters down. And this continued for hours. Mm. Okay, just to be very clear, a simple life is not easy. If you want it easy, just stay in an apartment, have a nine to five job, that is, that is easy. Simple is a totally different thing. And yeah, I'm gonna shut off the camera now because I have no brain cells left and continue working. I still have like 10 of those to get, I think. So good night. The next day, I decided to start fresh. So I drove to the hardware store to pick up materials so we can start renovating our roof. I just arrived to the hardware store and every time I'm here, I just feel so lost. I feel like I'm supposed to know what I'm supposed to do here as a man. Uh, like it's included in a man's DNA to like, you should know what you're supposed to do in a hardware store. But I have no idea, so I feel like I'm faking it every time I'm here. And it feels like someone's gonna catch me every time, like, but you know what, you have no idea what you're talking about. And I don't, so I feel really lost every time I'm here. <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna continue faking it now.
If you're crazy enough to made it all the way here into the video, thank you so much for watching. I know it's been a very long one and I thought we could try something new as well. All of you guys that are here right now, if you could comment like a tree emoji or something, um, just to we can figure out who is actually here at the very end. And that will confuse all the others that haven't seen the end yet. Why is there tree emojis like in the comments field? Why? And they have to see the end to figure it out. In the beginning of the video, I promised you a live stream when I was reaching 70,000, 80, 90, and 100,000 subscribers. And during the edit of this video, <laughs> edit of this video, we reached 70,000. We're actually at 71 right now. Uh, so the live stream is going to be on this sun Sunday, uh, December 13, 8 p.m. Swedish time. But if you just follow me here on YouTube or uh, Instagram, you will get a notification when the live stream is up. Hope to see you there and thanks you again. Thanks you again. Thank you again for watching. See you on Sunday. Bye. And later, 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 for some boss, stand up more than Oh, 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 but before, but before, but, 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 before I, but, before, but, oh, they're not so constant, oh, but before I, oh, this can't be what, that's what, come again, but before, but before, but before, but before, it's just starting to sound, not like words at all. But 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 but. Oh, I was so worried that I was going to have a blooper in this film.